Wait one second, making sure I'm recording. I should be recording now. Oh, sorry about that. Wait one second. I see a hair that I'm trying to get off my keyboard. That is very annoying. Okay. Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Junk Paradise Gold Age, episode 692. Hopefully you are all doing okay today and staying safe. So last episode we have just been working on some new ideas for our area over here that we're working on today. And we're working on a idea of putting stairs, well this is the block here, stairs here. You know what, I might actually keep the double block. I don't know. I'm, I'm really in between on the idea of using the double block or not. Sadly also last episode uh, we actually intertwined with this area so we might actually have to destroy some of this area. Or maybe even change some of it. Maybe I want to change the dirt here to proper dirt. Break that. There's some grass block there. Hmm. Don't know if that would work. But sadly these stairs might actually have to go. Though I still love these stairs. I always used to come up here every once in a while. You know what? They're not actually that too far away from the other build project. So I'm just removing the blocks that I did when I did a remodel upstairs. You know what? Not too bad. Not too bad of an area. I thought I dropped a block there. No, it was just my imagination. Okay, so last episode we worked on all of this. We're actually thinking about putting sea lanterns in the roof to now. And I don't know if I'll have any uh, actual sea lanterns to put in the roof to now, but you know, maybe in the future, future once I finally drain that ever so slowly. Sea farm, or sea guardian, sea. sea temple, that's it, sorry, could not remember what you called it there for a second. Once we empty the sea temple, we should be able to start doing what we want with it. Uh, let's see, grab that. Yeah, I think the stairs there might have to go. Also, it would be quite a pain in the butt when I actually have to do the stair stuff around this area. Right here, yeah. Okay, so let's break that and also break all of that. There we go. Sorry, I need to keep track of where I am standing because I might mess up. There we go. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad. And put some dark oak wood in there. Yeah, I guess for a temporary block it should do. Should do for a temporary block, but you know what? This area has started to look a lot nicer. That's what I'll say. This area is looking quite a lot nicer. Hmm. Maybe I should focus on uh, mining a block out the ceiling for when I do that build project for the roof. Yeah, I think I'll do that now. And then we'll focus on filling this area here full of blocks. I'll probably just use what uh, cobblestone that I have. So there was a creeper over there. Uh, let's see. Okay, but we'll uh, mine out all of this over here. Just to make sure it's all emptied out. There we go. There we go. Also, we might as well talk about some stuff that happened last episode. So last episode I also forgot to add a bunch of people to the commenter garden for a while. I knew I had forgotten someone to add to the commenter garden. But I just could not remember who it was and it turns out I was four weeks late on uh, adding a few people. I do apologise. Uh, let's see if you had been waiting that long to be added to the commenter garden. Uh, let's see. Sometimes I make sure to add them the next episode that, you know, I see their comment from. 
And then sometimes I just, you know, totally forget. Like, I replied to the comment, but I, I forgot to uh, add them to the comment to garden. And we'll see. It's just I've been so busy recently, so that has also affected me putting people into the comment to garden. Especially with the Lord of the Rings series, that's also taken up quite a lot of time now. And I was too focused on that to uh, remember the comment to garden. Plus, we've not really been by the comment to garden to remind me to do the comment to garden stuff. Uh break all of that. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Wait one second. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You're in the wrong place at the uh, obsidian. that should be broken on either side. This this is this is a real problem. I never noticed this when I was uh, mining this all out. I made it symmetrical at the bottom but I don't think I made it symmetrical at the top. Okay let's uh, fix all of that problems that we have there. Mining all of that away. And That stupid ancient gravel, I tell you. From when I did this build project twice. It's always affected me. That stupid gravel. It's always coming back to haunt me, I tell you. There we go, I'll just put some stuff in there. That should work. Actually, I need that to uh, cover the thing. There's a little bit of hiding stuff there from plain view. Uh, let's see. You know what? I never actually finished this bit of the roof. Why did I never finish this bit of the roof? I don't know. I really don't know. Wait one second. I'm trying to make it symmetrical to the other side. That's that's what I'm doing there now. I'm getting too much stone from this, I tell you. This is from when I filled in a bunch of water behind here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's symmetrical now. Apart from that bit in the roof, that you know, 
I'll just say uh, main cross. To not have to really deal with for a little while. If you're wondering why this area is so undeveloped, it is a. Uh, it's because I never really work work on this area again. I built it during uh, our corruption period. Quite sad time, as well as say. And I just never really came back until I finished out the back bit of this build project. And then that was like the last time that I actually worked on it. Ow. He hit me midair. He did like a 360 there, I tell you. Uh. Okay, uh, put that there. Put the arrows there, put the bones there. Here we go, put some of the stuff away. I tell you, this build project's got to take me quite a long time to actually finish. There's just so many different parts to this. Oh, so annoying. I might forget some of the ideas that I want to do and then, you know, end up not doing the ideas that I want to do. There we go. Grab some of that. Stairs. There we go. Just making sure that wall's lit up there. Right. I am thinking of just doing this. I guess just go. You know what? We'll just we'll just uh, end it there for now. We'll just end it there until I get this gap filled in. That's what I'll say. Until I get that gap filled in, and I know exactly what we're going to fill it with. To the chess. There we go. Let's go fill in this area. The gap. Shall we say the area that I need to fill in? So somewhere around here. There we go. This area was just made as a shortcut area to get around, and it kind of just never really took off. I would say it's quite a trash bit of my world. Trash idea. That's what I'll say. That should have never been made. Why, why would I make, you know, I, I like the idea of having shortcuts around my world, but this shortcut was just too bland. That's what I'll say. Too bland for this area. Uh, let's see. Let me just go like that. There we go. Grab me another box. There we go. Not too bad, not too bad at all. That was the last episode I was talking about mods that I was going to be adding to the series. A few of them. Some that I was thinking about and then some that, you know, I would not add to the series just because, you know, it would cause just problems. Or just to never really fit into the mod pack. Ah, uh, let's see. And I can't remember what... I was just about to say a mod. I was thinking about uh, the uh, portable drawers. Is that what you call it? Or drawers mod? Basically like, you know, chests that you fill up with one item. But you can fill quite a lot of that item in it. Something like that. I don't know how it worked. Uh, let's see. I saw it. Decided, you know, that's not a bad mod. But then I haven't really added it to the series mod pack for the 700 episodes. Just yet. So I was thinking about maybe adding it in the future. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. That should work. That should work out pretty good. Hmm. 
Well, now I can start to uh, mine all of that away. Hmm. Yeah, I was one block lower and knew it. I thought, you know, maybe it is the same height. No, it was not the same height. It was not the same height. It fooled me. Yeah, we'll see. Now, I know I can't go too far off in this direction, as that's a, a fact that I know. This area is quite full of different build projects that uh, might collide with each other if I go this direction. So, we'll only do as much as we need to get to that other side. Hmm. Yeah, I think that may work. I don't know if I'm putting too much ideas together right now. Like, I don't want to have a build burnout over here. From just continuing to work on this one build project. Uh, let's see. So let's hope that does not happen. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, break all of that. Make sure all of that is broken. Sorry, I'm just looking at this not speaking, I do apologize. Uh, we'll see. Sometimes you just get hypnotized by the mining, and then you focus too much on it. I need to go into my uh, pockets again, it seems. I tell you, you know, this area that has uh, really improved. That's what I will say. It really has improved. Since, you know, I started this build project so long ago, I feel like the, this build project that we've just been doing recently on it, well, yeah, build project, extension project would probably be the best choice of uh, words there. Has probably been the best choice and you know that we've done with this spell project in a quite a long time. So either that or it would have set the same for another, you know, long, long time. I was actually thinking of actually fully filling it all in. To a certain degree. But then I thought, you know, that that would never feel right. There we go. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, well we have a lot of mining to do. I have this entire pickaxe to drain, I tell you. This entire pickaxe will be drained by the end of this. Ah yes, I was filling. I was mining at this entire area, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure where I was there. We do still need to mine out that ceiling bit there for when I actually have to add in all of the glass and all that for the ceiling. Actually, I'm still deciding on should I go with glass or not. I think I might actually go with glass. I have plenty of sand on me now to make a few stacks of glass for all of this. At least it won't... I guess it kind of be the largest... No, it won't be the largest glass project. This will still be the largest glass project because if you took all the sides out and put it in a lane, it would probably be somewhere around that bit long if you put all of the glass blocks out. Like in a full lane, so that's like the walls there... That's another wall, that's a front, that's a back. Probably around there then. Is that's how many I've used for this bold project. You know what, I do need to mine out this big uh, lump stuff here. I like the idea of having a curved bit to this area, but I feel like a flat open area kind of will make it look a little bit nicer. I'll see, and then I'm also thinking about filling in this area here. So that area will be filled in as I plan on building a river here. Well, not a river, but, you know, a large pond area, a little uh, rectangle. And then I'll have the path go around it. And I was thinking about just mining some of this away, but I think I might mine the full thing away. Just so I could maybe, maybe I'll add another pond. I don't know. It's just ideas, I'm telling you. I just come up with it as I go along, a lot of the time. 
Uh, let's see. As I, I didn't really want to plan too much into this build project. Sometimes I just brainstorm it while I'm going to sleep. Like, what do I want to do with this build project? What could I do with this build project? And I could basically walk around this entire area because I've walked around it so many times in my head. So I could, you know, map out, like, where do I want to, you know, place all of these blocks? Sometimes, you know, the room's a bit too shorter than I actually plan out in my head. But I do plan on maybe breaking down that entire wall back there. And then connecting up with that area over there. That is one of the ideas. I might actually shorten down this area. But then I think I must have a bit that goes upwards. Because this area looks nice when it has that upward bit. Or. Hmm. Nah, nah, nah. Well, maybe. Hmm. I was thinking about adding stairs there. And then having it go upwards. Like adding more spruce wood up there. And having it as a bit that you go over. So I don't actually mess up this entrance bit here. But it still keeps it, you know, relatively the same. I think that might actually work. And then this bit over here, I don't really know too much of what I'm doing with this area. I kind of just brainstorm it as it... Brainstorming it as I go along. That's what I'll say. Brainstorming it as I go uh, do, 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 do. Pretty cool as that. And then, uh, might use some of this dirt that's in the ceiling to uh, my advantage for filling in that hole. I am quite sad to fill in that hole that, you know, it's been there for so long. The idea was to have that down there. I'll just break this. I don't really need this no more. I don't think so. Okay, but the idea was to have this area, it's a little walk down there. I was thinking about maybe putting down something down here at some point, but I've never really done that. And it, it doesn't really need to be here no more. It's kind of not really necessary for this area. It's kind of just been here too long that, you know, there's really nothing that I can really do with it. Like, there may be something in the future, in a different, you know, Jungle Paradise, I could have figured out, like, an idea that I could have done all this time ago in this series. But maybe, you know, it's best just to leave this area the way that it is. I won't fill it in fully, I'm just going layering over it. So I can place some water over it. Ah, uh, let's see. There we go. And then place that dirt that we got. It's quite sad to see it go. Such a mean part of this area, I would say. Maybe I could make like a little dig site downwards. That would be kind of cool. Like a little square that you could see down. I don't know. It's just an idea that I had there. Uh, dirt? No dirt. <sighs> I tell you, sometimes I just run out of dirt. Sorry, my back is a bit sore than now. Uh, let's see. Let's break all of that. Would be useful to fill in on that. But it's only six. I might as well just use it up. There we go. Okay, we'll, we'll fill that in once we actually uh, have the dirt on hand. I need to make another dirt shulker box where we go and gather up dirt. That's what we'll need to do soon. Go gather up some dirt. Dirty dirt, dirt, dirt. Because it's very necessary for a lot of my build projects to have a lot of dirt. Ah, uh, I see all of the blocks in the ceiling and I think, oh, I'm going to have to fill all of that in. I don't really need to fill it all in. I just need to mine the all out and then, you know, place glass there and then place beyond that glass some sea lanterns. Not some, but, you know, a lot of sea lanterns. Need to get that uh, sea temple drained. That's what I need to do. Maybe that's what I'll use uh, that shulker box full of sand for filling in the sea temple. 
There we go. Not too bad, not too bad at all. And that is probably where the ceiling is going to... I think I might end ceiling over here. Now it's probably better to end it at this block over here. Now my reasons why to end it here. Because I don't think I'll extend it into this area that we're working on right here. I might do some, uh, you know, wood stairs on the other side, but I won't do the full roundabout bit. Now I have my reasons to do that, because I feel like it would kind of ruin this area that we're going to be working on. So it's probably not the right idea to do that. There we go. Crafting table. An angle like that, if I want to fill in that bit there. What would it look like if it was filled up? Kinda just like that. And it doesn't really make two sense, right? Too much sense. Maybe I should make it go back a block. So it fits this build project. Does mean I have to break quite a lot of wood. Probably just fill in that again. Quite a lot of gravel that keeps falling down from the ceiling, I tell you. Gets annoying sometimes. Oh, it looks like I'm out of uh, stairs. I don't know where I'm going to get them from. Uh, okay, well, let's go mine all this out. There we go. It's fully attached now. You know what, I say that this area is looking a lot better than it has since, you know, a long, long time. Uh, let's see. I don't think it's ever looked this good. There we go. Yeah, that's looking a lot nicer. Let's break out that bit and seal in there. Like that entire layer right there will be filled up with glass. And then above that glass will be sea lanterns. I don't know if I should do like a certain pattern in the ceiling or something for it. Maybe I should make it, you know, slowly go to the middle. Kind of like one of these swirls. You know what I mean? Oh, it makes me want to make ice cream. I've not made ice cream in years, I tell you. You ever made ice cream? It's actually quite fun. Well, it wasn't too fun when I was doing it in high school, but you know, when I think back to it, you know, I think, oh, that could have been great. And you know why it was not fun? People ate my ice cream. They ate my ice cream. Ah, uh, so sad. Uh, let's see, if you don't know what I'm talking about, well, they like to take, you know, one of them and taste it. And that one had to be mine. They gave me another one, but, you know, still it was not mine. Plus it was vanilla. And mine was chocolate. So it's very sad. Ah, uh, let's see. But that's just a little bit of a memory there. For you. Sad memory. Not getting the ice cream that belonged to me. Uh, I would love to make some ice cream again. I would love to make burgers. You ever made burgers? It's not actually that bad to make burgers. It's actually quite simple. Like people think, oh, I have to go to the store, get all of this stuff. Well, it's, basically all you really need is one item, and that's mince. All you need to do is make the mince. I think the best kind of mince, if you wanted eight patties, like big patties, if you're one of the big patty people, I mean kind of the thinner patties, but not McDonald's thin, a little bit wider than the normal McDonald's burger, 
the singles and the doubles, I tell you, are super tiny now. Uh, let's see. But, let me just lay up that roof bit there. Mobs will probably spawn and drop. Uh, let's see. But, I would say my favourite kind of burgers are just a little bit thicker than uh, the McDonald's burgers. Not like the thin, thin ones of the singles or the doubles. Like maybe a quarter pounder. Like they, they're, you know, eh, they're not even that good no more. Eh, we'll see. But, you know, if you had one pound of mince, you made it into a big ball, and then you just grab like a handful and then another handful and then you slowly break it up into eight. So you get a portion, you get four portions, right? And then you break the four portions up into two bits. Makes eight patties. You just have to flatten it down. And then also, you could also add bread to that. And if you add bread to it, it's probably a little bit more unhealthy, but you know. You add bread to it and then it kind of makes it a little bit better at holding it together. That's what I will say. Makes it a little bit better at holding it together. Not made burgers yet. Would love to make burgers at some point. Uh, let's see. But it kind of gives you the recipe idea for it. Oh, you really need some mince. One pound of mince for eight. If you're a thick burger person. Uh, let's see. But you don't really need to have you know, a lot of you know, stuff. You could make it super thin if you wanted. You don't even need onions. A lot of people like onions and burgers, and I tell you. Ah, uh, onions and burgers. Terrible, disgusting. I don't know who thought it was a great idea. Uh, let's see. Even though they're in mostly every single burger that you eat. It's just, a lot of people make it in the burger, like, fully big chunks of it. Or, you know, you can still taste the onion, and it's just disgusting. You can tell that I'm not an onion person. <laughs> Uh, let's see, or a tomato person. Hate tomato, hate onions, hate lettuce. Basically, the whole reason my burgers were probably one of the most nutritional foods out there in America. It's because it had all of the different nutritions on it. it. Had different vitamins. It gave people basically everything that they needed. Lettuce gave you, you know, stuff for your greens. Yeah, tomato also gave you veggies. Uh, let's see. Hmm, what else? Yeah, that's that's a lot of different stuff there, I would say. Uh, let's see. I still need to mine out this roof by one more block. And it will look quite a lot nicer. So I think I'll probably go around there with uh, some cobble. Hmm. Yeah. Do I do this now or leave it for another episode? I'll mine it out and then see how it looks. Oh, some ancient cobble there. Probably when I was mining the wall originally. You know what? I mine that. Of an axe, not a pickaxe. It's the wrong tool there. You know what? I could turn it into a pool of water if I wanted to. Like a little tiny pool here. Yeah, it could work. Could work, I tell you. There we go. Yeah, I think that works. Though the ceiling is quite a lot darker. Sometimes if you don't have a good bit rate, darkness just, uh, is terrible. Terrible, I tell you. You know what? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. That is not too bad. I really do want to fix that other side. I don't know if I have time today. To fix the other side, get the you know all of the lining in. <sighs> hmm. 
If I get the sides in right, I could mine all of this bit here, but I could get the stair sign. The, the stairs in, the stair side bits in, and then all the way along. Kind of just wrap it around this entire area. I think it would work. I think it would look a less, lot nicer this area. Uh, we'll see. But I do not need to use a. Uh, if I do not need sea lantern. Well, I lost totally track of the conversation there. So, if I wanted to do. If I wanted to. I do not need to use. Uh, what's it called? I was just looking at something there. Okay. I do not need to use sea lanterns because I can put something in until I get the sea lanterns. That would be pumpkins, jack o' lanterns. Just kind of make the roof a little bit light. But that's just an idea. I'll leave it for the future though. Uh, let's see. There we go. There we go. He's all still in here. Gus Terra. Oh, you're joking me. Luckily I caught you Zargoria. I knew it was going to be Zargoria. It's normally Gus. Gus likes to hop over the barrier when they're pushed by another animal. Sadly this area is made so thinly due to another build project being so close to it. That being the floor upstairs. Yeah, the floor upstairs. Yeah, the floor upstairs. That makes this area look a lot uh, smaller, and I, I would love to expand it, or maybe even remodel it. Maybe if I wanted to, I could actually slope the floor. What's wrong with the floor? I just realised, right, this area is perfectly normal, right? And then you have to go up, and then you have to go down, and then you have to go down, and then you have to go up. The start, this area here is not that very good. If I made it a little bit slanter and then made the incline a little bit better, I could probably make this a lot better and then I could also remodel their cage a bit, try and make it less mountainous. Less kind of like China, that's what I'll say. Make it a little bit more less slope than uh, China, their natural habitats. Well, I'll uh, save that for next episode. I think that's what we'll be working on next episode. You know what? We have not really done too many big projects. And I feel like this project that we're working on now is probably going to be the biggest for this area to now. Even compared to our uh, mining out of a, you know, river over there. It's not too big compared to what this is. This is a whole large area getting a total remodel. And that's what I really wanted to do. I wanted to go around uh, many different small build projects around my world and just kind of redo them, kind of fix them up, make them look a little bit nicer. With some of the newer techniques, but also use some of the older techniques. It's a problem for when you uh, leave build projects, right? That you forget how to do the certain, like, you know, thing and you have to copy the old design to the newer design. Because, you know, it would look nicer if it's the same. I kind of did not phrase that too well. But when you have an old build project and you come back to it in the future, you haven't really had that much time using that technique too much. And you normally forget how to use that technique and so you have to relearn that technique. That's probably the best uh, you know, idea for it. Okay. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed this. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Hope this helpful. Maybe some rushes, sneakers, and vitamins. Very, very important. And bye-bye. See you next time. Have a nice day. See you. Bye-bye.